Okay, I'm going to look at type 2 logarithmic equations. And um, this is an example of what that looks like, right? I have logs on the left, logs on the right. I don't have a constant isolated, okay? So what I want to do is get a single log on the left and a single log on the right. Um, and obviously everything has to have the same base. So I have a single log on the left, so there's no problem with that one. X plus 4, that's a 4. Um, but this is not a single log, so I need to combine these using the properties of logs. And when I'm adding two different logs um, and bring them together to a single log, it becomes multiplication, x times 4, the product property of logs. Once I have a single log on the left and a single log on the right, as long as the bases are the same, to make this equation true, if this matches this, then what makes this equation true is that this has to match this. So I'm going to drop the logs and set the you know, expressions equal to each other. Now I can't do this obviously for a type 1 logarithmic equation because I have a constant on the right. But type 2s, I have a single log on the left and a single log on the right. If the bases match, I could drop the logs and then set the expressions equal to each other. And then I just solve. Subtract x from both sides, I get x is 4 thirds. Now, 4 thirds is a little bit bigger than 1. And again, you always have to check your solution. You're always checking for logarithmic equations. When I plug 4 thirds in, do I ever get a negative or do I get 0? If not, which I don't here, then it's my solution, part of my solution set. Um, okay, so I have a couple of these. Let's do this one. One more. Um, Again, I look at this. It's a logarithmic equation, definitely. All the logs in it have the same base. They're all base. Um, um, let me move this over a little bit. They're all base e. There, you can see that better. They're all base e. They're all natural logs, so the bases match. But I don't have a single log on the left, and I don't have a single log on the right. So I'm going to create that. Subtraction of two different logs with the same base becomes quotient after a single log. Same thing here, subtraction of two different logs becomes a quotient of a single log. Um, I have a single log on the left and a single log on the right. They are base E. They match. So same thing as before, I could drop the logs because what's going to create equality? If these are the same, then the rest of it has to be equal. So x minus 2 over x plus 3 is equal to x minus 1 over x plus 7. Now, I chose this problem for a reason, because this might be intimidating, a rational equation. Um, and there are a couple ways you can approach this. Because it's a proportion, a fraction equal to a fraction, I could cross multiply and use that idea. So when I do that, this times this, x minus 2 times, I'll write it out, x minus 2 times x plus 7 is equal to this times this, x minus 1 times x plus 3. This is solving proportions. This creates a proportion. Foil, x squared, negative 2x plus 7x is positive 5x minus 14 is equal to x squared, positive 3 minus 1 plus 2x minus 3. Um, I like these. These really make it nice because quadratic equations, you always want it to set equal to 0. But when I subtract, let me use a different color for this. When I subtract x squared from both sides, that goes away. Subtract 2x from both sides and add 3 it becomes a very basic linear equation. So it simplifies nicely. So the right-hand side, it becomes 0. And the left-hand side, those go 5x minus 2x is 3x. Negative 14 plus 3 is minus 11. And it's a nice, easy linear equation. Add 11 to both sides. Divide by 3. 11 thirds is my answer. But check, right? Check. Check my solution. 11 thirds is almost 4, right? So if I have something that is almost 4, minus 2 is positive, 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 positive. When I plug it in, I get more positives. This is my solution. And then again, right, you might be asked to represent it as a solution set. The set contains the solution of 11 thirds.